said Nostra Dame and Peters, but what were the others? I have, uh, I spoke to the Chiefs of Police, I have Nostra Dame, South, what are you asking for a volume of calls or how many officers they have? No, you mentioned that you spoke with other communities. Yeah, I, I actually, when I spoke to the Chiefs of Police, I asked them how many officers they have. And I also asked how many calls they have. So, Washington County Departments, we have more calls than North Bain, Peters Township, and I personally got a phone call from Chief Barry Frick from Peters last year. Can I ask a question? Okay. Yes. How, can you also, when you're saying that, tell us how many officers they have? Absolutely. Um, the, the ones that actually made more calls in North Carolina, Peter Township, Canberra Borough, Chartiers, Allegheny County, Collier Township, South Fayette, Bridgeville Borough, and Scott Township. And we're approximately 1,000 calls more than they are for each department. Did you call Mount Pleasant Township? Uh, Mount Pleasant is a part-time department. It's next door to us. Uh, I would have to call the state police as well. But that's kind of apple little oranges, to be honest with you, so I didn't call them. Okay, well, I'm going to say this. Do you know what their compared budgets are? Well, Mount Pleasant Township, they have all part-time, I believe, except for the chief. Okay, I'm talking about the, the municipalities that you call. Oh, I, I didn't discuss that with them, um, but I believe we are half the budget is what uh, these other agencies are. They have more men. Uh, and that's why their budget is probably higher. Northern Bank currently has 23 officers, including the chief. And their budget is? Uh, I would say, a, I, I don't know, I don't even want to get approximate. It's 13 million two years ago. That was probably the general fund. I don't know what the police department is. I, I don't know. Well, if the police department is 13 million, I, I would be very surprised. And I'd be and begging. Peter's for more Township two today. years ago was a $19 million budget. Um, but they are, I, I spoke to them, they have 23, including the chief. Uh, they are talking about hiring five police officers. South Street, Maine, I believe they have 19 to 21, and they are also hiring. Peter's Township has 28 officers, and they are currently hiring. Did you say 28? 28 officers, yes. Okay. Okay. For comparison, we have 17. Yeah, we have 17. And, I'll go and our budget is one-third of Peter's. Uh, oh, I'd say... Well, ours is $7 million now. Peter's oh, is... Sorry, what is ours? Million. The township budget is $7 million. Don't, yeah, our, my budget is not even close to that. No, I'm talking about the total township budget. budget. Okay, okay. The, the budget of the police department takes all of our roles. I think it's $1.9 million for the... The budget probably closer department. than every municipality. I, I compare us to. Uh, I would compare us to every municipality. I'm talking about what our what, what's budgeted for you. I think it's 1.9 million, okay. and the real estate taxes that we receive for the entire year is 1.9 million. So all of our real estate taxes go to the budget. Yeah. I, I mean I realize that these are problems, and they're problems that every municipality has with drugs and and, and other problems, but. We're the, we're the bottom of the barrel on this in budget. Our budget is $7 million. Nurse Durbain is uh, twice that right now. It was $13 million two years ago, so it's got to be $14 million by now. Uh, the same with Peters Township. Two years ago, it was $19 million. And ours is $7 million. So theirs ought to be $20, $21 million by now. So there's this triple R budget. I, we can't well, quite live I, up to... I think I'm actually asking for direction from the board then. I mean, they, I don't know what they're doing over there. I mean, I understand. Who's that? All these municipalities that you're calling out with their budgets. Um, I'm just throwing it out there. I, I think the board obviously has to make those decisions. Um, I think it's fair that the township knows you know, what we're going through as well as what we need. <coughs> I, I'd always like to think that you know the communities out there protect those who protect them and, and i think it's also fair just to have the community know uh, what is actually going on in this community and what the officers need um, I, I respect that you know we can go to Kansas borough they have 17 officers like us they have three square miles right and we that's probably the reason that they need the 17 they also have projects well they have a lot of cars that we don't have we we have more calls than things we do yes well, then their police are either underpaid because their budgets are very low. But they uh, make the Park Borough was maybe $4 million. I believe they're making as much as we are. Nope. 
Pardon me? Calling wise, starting salary, I believe they're making much as close to what we Well, they're going to be in deep finance. Yeah, Elizabeth, the point I think um, the, the chief was making about what it takes to staff just for three territories, what it takes to do extra duties. I just and, and that's it, it's up to the board. You do have a say in it, and, and you could weigh in on it. And, and I appreciate that, that there's a problem. But, so, but I'm just saying, collectively, this board can decide that if they, they do that, that they, they think that I there's merit to it, then I mean, we've got to find the money to pay for it. Just like you say, we have to find the money to do, help the community need sewers, and we have to find the money for the roads. If, if there's merit to what you say, you have a say in it on whether we go ahead and hire more or do status quo. Right now, I think the point is we're, we're, we put our fires all the time. And, and uh, it, it doesn't have the staff to be able to be proactive. And I'm aware of what I'm aware of everything that he's saying, but, but I'm simply bringing up the, the difference in the budgets. Chief, I had a question for you too. Uh, the last time you've done the testing for officers, there's still uh, some of that pool that you could work with to hire from, or would you have to go through testing and everything? I still have a list that we can use, yes. It's still up to date, and I mean, it is up to date, yes. Also, uh, I just want to add to, uh, you know, I, I work very well, I try to network. Um, we, I try to get as many donations as I can. Um, Horizon Properties also just sent a letter. This is in the, in the works. Um, I have a letter that I can provide to the board from Horizon Properties. Uh, they recognize that we do have a lot of call volume in South Point. Uh, we had protests over there. We had 250 protests uh, in the past. Uh, this year alone, I had 60 person protests and 30 per person protests. We got through it, it was in the newspaper. They applaud us for handling it. Um, I'm sure there's more to come. Uh, Horizon Properties over the town center has provided a letter stating that uh, they are supportive of providing an office for us. It would be a substation, it's not gonna be a manned substation, but it's there to meet with uh, businesses or business owners, residents, anyone that's over in South Point or maybe a situation where they want to go off their site and they want to come all the way over to the police department. So they're willing to uh, meet with the board and come up with an agreement where it's a small lease, whether it's a dollar or whatever, to provide the office for the police officers to do reports. Um, we, we, you know, obviously, like we do this up at the Montreal Trail, ride bicycles over there, do foot patrols. Um, I know you guys spoke about the apartments over there. Um, they are opening up, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, there were 60, I think, I mean, Bruce can tell us how many more came in uh, for the approval. But we are getting a lot of foot traffic over there. We're going to let people walk in the restaurants, the hotels. Uh, so I believe truly in the future that not only we're going to have uh, people walking and being intoxicated, but, you know, also I think we need presence there too because we're going to probably get a, a boost and call volume over there as well. So I believe Horizon Properties recognizes that our community is growing and the fact that there are from more presence over there. And this will also help the third zone because that would narrow down the, the township and zones for the officers. So I do have a letter, again, it's them supporting us and recognizing that they're gonna meet with you soon to provide us some type of release to uh, have an office there. I'll pass it down to the channel. Question. Yes. I I come in late, so I don't know exactly what all went on. But is there a problem with hiring two more officers? Uh, I just did I, did I miss something? Or? I think basically what I did was I, I presented it to the board to, to show them uh, where we're at in call volume, uh, the need for the safety of the community, the officers. And more or less, this is just a presentation to tell them. We, we've been working on this for about two years. I think the last time in public we spoke about it was at the outreach meeting in Lawrence um, about two years ago. And we were uh, getting a lot of good feedback from our community saying there is a need for officers. And again, I'm using it tonight as, as an example. It happens many times. Uh, I believe, uh, Buddy, you understand you see us out on the road for toes and accidents. There is only two police officers working till Six o'clock in the morning, only two officers right now. 
So this is an example why I am proposing this to the board to please consider hiring in the future at least a minimum two officers, if not three, because you know there is uh, situations in this community that are not being addressed at this moment. But I mean, is there a, is there a problem now with hiring that somebody, anybody? I'm not sure. That's not for me to answer. I don't know. Well, it's always a budget question. Okay. It's, it's priorities, and that's what I was talk, just talking about. This board you want to be proactive with uh, public safety like that, or they can uh, put their money Well, elsewhere. I'm just saying, I come in late for the meeting, and I don't know what went on beforehand. I don't know if this was talked about, but I just, I'm, a, I'm with them. I think we do need more help, but I just wanted to know if there was a problem with our the, for, for the last Two years we've talked to them about trying to create a third district and it's just a manpower thing we don't want a district created with all time and a half so um let's finally get to that point with the parks opening and all the new plans coming up it's coming to it it's coming to head this board has to make a decision you got to keep up with the growth yeah. and fall behind <coughs> anything else you want to there chief no do you guys have any questions for me thank you chief thank you uh, you said you had something. Can I work on my more issues with that or something? No. Um, we'll you get something with the other residents who probably came here to get I, a chance to talk. Can I sneak in real quick? We need to schedule our meeting with the fire departments. We're, we missed totally missed July, and we need to schedule a now semi-annual meeting with the fire departments. So maybe if you guys could give us some dates that work. We can pick that because we need to get on that so we're keeping in touch with what's going on. But Monday's always your bad days. Yes. Could we do, I mean, are there enough of you here that we could pick a date now? <laughs> that can be all. Yeah. We might as well just pick a date. Great. Uh, Wednesdays, it seems like we've been able to get guys to work together. Mm -hmm. It's Wednesday. What about Wednesday, October 28th? Okay, so we're going to schedule 7 p.m. in the meeting room our meeting with the fire departments, October 20th. Yeah, I kind of think that there's something else going on. Yeah, I think it's a good I don't have anything on for that day. When is the uh, Halloween thing for the Arts and Rec? Oh, I don't know. That's usually on a weekend. Well, but the weekend is October 31st. And that's when Cecil Township is happening. Then they will generally do it the weekend before. I don't think they ever do it. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Do you know when it is, Mom? Bob? Bob calls for Bob? Do you know when the uh, Parks and Rec um, Halloween is? Um, I believe it's. The, third, the 30th or 31st is, is kind yeah, that's how actual Halloween. She means trick or treating in the trail. Trail, trail treats. Trail yeah, treats. Trail yeah. treats. Um, still the weekend though, right? It's, it's the weekend. I, I'm not sure if it's Friday night or Saturday. It's either Friday well, or Saturday. Saturday is Halloween, and that's when um, trick or treat is. <laughs> it. I, I'm not. Well, I don't want to comment because I'm not positive about the check. Yeah, yeah, it's Wednesday. Yeah, we can point to the Wednesday. Maybe it's just Saturday before. Okay, so what's the date that you're recommending? All right. Uh, Excuse me, Elizabeth. I think it's the 30th. I think it's Friday night. I think it's the night before Halloween. Okay. But I'll, I'll, I can call you. Yeah. Call. Okay, so when did you say it is? 